The world's largest and most expensive space observatory has been in development for well over a decade, and is poised to give humanity a look back in time dating as far back as the formation of the first galaxies and stars. However, this iconic project has had several significant hiccups along the way that have led it to its launch date being delayed for a few years. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be looking at the James Webb Space Telescope and why its launch was delayed again. But before we get into that, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more up-to-date content on the world of freaky science. Delayed Timelines of James Webb the James Webb Telescope has encountered several delays and setbacks since the construction began on the telescope's science instruments and primary mirrors in 2004. The telescope was initially planned for launch sometime in 2011 at a proposed $1.6 billion budget, but after NASA was unable to meet this proposed deadline all while racking up billions of dollars in cost overrun, Congress threatened to shut down the program altogether. It took NASA's commitment to an already exorbitant $8.8 billion budget to stay at the hand of the execution on the James Webb Telescope. Eventually, the mission was given the go-ahead by Congress in 2011, with a new proposed launch date of 2018. After over 12 years spent successfully building and assembling all essential parts of the telescope in different parts of the world, the James Webb Telescope was finally ready to begin testing. The second delay in the telescope's progress was during a vibration test in December of 2016 at the Goddard Space Flight Center when the team of engineers detected an anomaly reading in the accelerometer attached to the telescope. The vibration test was meant to simulate the environment and conditions of the telescope will experience during its initial proposed launch in 2018. This halted all other tests, and for almost two months, the team studied the data regarding the anomaly reading. This, of course, pushed back the project date of completion by a few weeks. After that minor setback, all seemed fine and on track for the 2018 launch, until NASA announced another setback, this time regarding the integration of the instruments into the telescope itself. The delay was due to concerns regarding the main infrared cameras as well as other instruments which make up the main payload of the telescope. The change in launch timing is not indicative of hardware or technical performance concerns, said Thomas Zuberkin, Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, during a press release on September 29, 2017. As expected, the delay was a cause for concern, as it was already established that the development of the telescope was running at a high cost and Congress had no further interest in releasing more funds. NASA, however, assured the public that, assuming the integration test proceeded as planned, the agency had sufficient funds to see the program through to launch. This delay pushed the proposed October 2018 launch date to sometime between March and June of 2019. In March of 2018, NASA revealed more complications realized during testing and reported plans to push back the launch date yet again. Representatives of the agency revealed that the program has had minor yet vital setbacks realized over months of testing. The agency revealed that they encountered problems with the transducer in the propulsion system of the telescope. This has, in turn, led to other complications within the telescope that require more testing and would effectively see the launch date pushed back to May of 2020. The team of engineers had noticed a problem regarding the telescope's sunshield that would have been folded origami-style into the payload bay of the Ariane 5 rocket and then automatically unfolded when in space. The problems were potential for tearing that might occur if the sunshield, which are made of very light materials, are unfolded in the wrong angle. The launch date set for May of 2020 was also delayed, this time due to the COVID-19 pandemic that put the entire world on hold. The team at NASA was restricted from working in large numbers and most manufacturers of major components of the telescope were put back on hold. The factors contributing to the decision to move the launch date included the impact of augmented safety precautions, reduced on-site personnel, disruption to shift work, and other technical challenges. NASA's official website made the statement in July of 2020. The agency revealed the new launch date to be sometime in October of 2021. 
In July of 2021, NASA revealed the launch date had been postponed yet again to November, this time at no fault of the agency or any issue regarding the telescope, but concerns with the readiness of the Ariane 5 rocket, which is meant to launch the telescope. The concerns were regarding the rocket's capability to safely carry the telescope into space without any mishaps during launch. After all, parameters had been taken into account with the telescope and the Ariane 5 rocket, NASA had revealed that the new launch date for the James Webb Space Telescope will now be on the 18th of December 2021. Why is James Webb so special? The James Webb Space Telescope is a state-of-the-art space observatory, the likes of which have never been seen before. The insanely expensive space observatory costs over $10 billion to build and is a joint project between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. As a space telescope, the JWSP was designed to observe and record astronomical events from outer space, such as exoplanets, galaxies, and other objects in the cosmos. It's meant to surpass previous space telescopes by operating at lower frequencies, avoiding distortion from ultraviolet rays, gamma rays, X-rays, and other land-based light pollution which telescopes on the ground suffer. The JWSP was designed to replace NASA's current flagship telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope. Unlike the Hubble Telescope, the JWSP was built to have a higher infrared resolution and electromagnetic sensitivity with a much-needed degree of speciality required to study the universe in depth. Within the first years of the Hubble Telescope being operational in the early 90s, NASA had already begun plans to build and launch a much larger and sophisticated space telescope. NASA brought scientists and engineers from all over the world to make plans to build a telescope that, unlike Hubble, would see in infrared light processing a higher wavelength band that would enable astronomers to see through gas clouds and cosmic dust in space. This would also enable astronomers to observe wavelengths of light billions of years old still traveling through the cosmos, allowing us to see further back in time to the formations of the very first galaxies. This would effectively push our range of observation of the universe further out than any other telescope is able to. For the James Webb Telescope to see at higher wavelengths, its primary mirrors, which are the optical telescope elements, are made of gold-plated beryllium segments, which all combine to bring the diameter of the mirror to 21 feet, which is much larger than the 7 feet diameter mirror on the Hubble Telescope. The Webb also has a greater number of mirror segments than the Hubble Telescope, with 18 segments that took almost 7 years to build and pass quality test phases. Observing from a long wavelength of visible light, the James Webb Telescope can see in mid-infrared spectra between 0.6 to 28.3 micrometers, which again beats out the Hubble Telescope, which only observes at near-infrared of 0.1 to 1 micrometers. This high range will enable the Webb Telescope to observe cosmic objects that are too far out or waves of light that are too old for Hubble Telescope to observe. How will the Webb Telescope deploy after launch? The agency will proceed with the mirror's final test to the telescope before it will finally be shipped to the launch site in Kourou, French Guiana, on the northeastern side of South America. The Webb Telescope will be folded origami-style into the Ariane 5 rocket and then launched into space. Once in orbit, about a million miles away from Earth, Webb will unfold its delicate five-layered sunshield until it reaches the size of a tennis court protecting the infrared detectors from sunlight and cooling it at 300 degrees. The Space Observatory will then deploy its magnificent 6.5-meter primary mirror that will detect the faint light of the oldest galaxies and stars, taking us back to the dawn of the universe. Will this be the last time NASA postpones the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, or will there be more mishaps leading to further delays? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video.